Howdy, howdy ho. So today we're gonna talk about chairs. Chairs are pretty great, you can get in them, and then you can get out of them, but you'll notice you kind of slide away from the chair for like a good bit. There's like some sort of animation where you're like being pushed away from the chair. So what's weird is that you don't necessarily need to leave the chair in its place. If you get out of the chair and it pushes you out, you can move the chair so you can get out and then quickly pick up the chair right away. But you'll notice that was kind of was kind of fast so it's kind of almost like we're being scurried along the ground and sure enough if you happen to want to you can really just like force the chair into go places it probably normally wouldn't go so with just the right angle i found it works the best when the chair points to the left you can just scurry along the ground to almost an insane degree we are almost at these here planes and the planes are where you can really just get into a groove and just take off Ooh, we don't want to fall down this cliff if we don't have to. We're going to turn the camera just a little bit. Forgot to pick up the chair on that one. And you can just see, you can just go. You can just run. We're a speed racer. Nothing can stop us. And uh, we can jump over cliffs if you do things right. Although that was a little dicey. I almost missed my uh, chair there. We are going to suffocate here, so is there any resin nearby that we can see? Uh, what's over here? I see a power cell, but that probably doesn't help us. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to make it out of this one alive. Yep. So that's how movement in Astroneer can work. You can use it to clip into solid surfaces. You can just race along at the speed of sound. Uh, you can use it to clip from a cave up. So let's go ahead and hop down into a cave here. We're going to hold the chair and slide down our ramp so that we have a chair in a, in a deeper level cave. And so now we're just going to kind of repeat the same processes. And uh, this is this is where the orientation of the chair is pretty important. So it will bring you along and then you can clip yourself into a wall, and if you do it right, you can just like eject yourself into another cavern. Now, uh, in this case, I made it into a mountain, into a, like a hill, and we should be able to do it right, clip in again. Now, again, it's important to remember, you're gonna clip out the left side or the right side of the chair. So your goal, if you do this, is to try and bring the right side of a chair towards a wall. However, in this situation, the game won't um, clip me out the right side of the chair because there wasn't ever room, it will pop me above the chair. So it might be a little difficult for me to clip out of this situation just because of how like narrow the edges are. So what I'm going to do is see if I can make myself just a little bit of a hidey hole. Probably going to suffocate before I make it out of here alive. Oh, there, there we go. So we didn't make it out. <laughs> We're not going to get into either as an in time though. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. This is pretty technical, and it unfortunately is quite hard to reproduce. But uh, if you need to just take it slowly, the steps are to get in the chair to start, and then you just got to practice getting out of the chair and then picking it up the moment you can. So get in the chair and then wait for a little bit and then get out of the chair. And then the moment you get out of the chair, your cursor will be kind of close. And the moment you come across trees and other terrain, it'll be a little dicey. And then here, when you get turned over, you're going to just kind of wiggle all over the place. So just be aware of that. So rotate the chair, get ready, sit down. Try not to go too high. If you are pointing down, the safer you are, as if you accidentally miss things, you will just kind of splat into the ground, but you won't take any serious fall damage. Uh, the higher you go, the more at risk you are of taking something pretty serious. Uh, you should be able to repeat this all the way up to the sky, but, uh, you know, getting out of the atmosphere with this trick is pretty difficult, because you start falling really fast. And then once you start falling, you're kind of toast. 
Once in a while, you can get in the chair, and then the chair will absorb your fall damage, and it'll splat on the ground, but in the chair so you're safe. But as you can see, you have to fight the camera. The camera's going to force you down as because you're falling down. That's just what the camera does, I guess. You have to really fight it to, you know, go in the other direction. And then it's just a, a why, are, why are you trying to leave the atmosphere that way anyway? It's just kind of not a useful thing to do currently. So, uh, yeah. Have fun clipping around. Have fun racing around the ground. Have fun making chairs. So, until we see each other again, toodaloo.